Hello YouTube and welcome to an install video for the Rival Rebel server which will be going up today at around 4.30. Uh, so I want to make sure you guys know how to uh, install Rival Rebels and all that good stuff for your, your Minecraft. Alright, so all the links to the stuff to download that I'm going to talk about are below including for Rival Rebels. Um, and that's actually probably about it. I don't, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to have any secondary mods uh, for you guys to download. But I will have them uh, show you guys how to install things like that and what you can install and what you can't. Alright, so, if you have never modded before, uh, this is a very basic Forge install tutorial. What you're gonna go, what you're gonna do, um, hold on, Daisuke's talking to me. Anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down below and you're gonna download the Forge installer for 164. Uh, the, the, uh, appropriate Forge version is, uh, 9.11.1.965. Those last three numbers really mean the most. Uh, but this is the, the newest 164, uh, installer for, or Forge installer for your Minecraft. So once you have this downloaded, all you do is double click on it and it'll open up this nifty installer for you. And all you're gonna do is click install client. It should find your Minecraft already. It should be an app data roaming dot Minecraft. If it's not, if it's somewhere else, which, uh, you can can change what is difficult but it should find it automatically and you can uh, click here and change that and tell it where you uh, wherever you want it to go but once it's found it click OK and it will install forge now it'll create a profile on here uh, called forge uh, right now I don't have that because I have um I have updated it and I've changed the name of it this was my original forge I just changed it to that point three mod pack but what you're gonna do is you're gonna select that and then you're gonna press play now I'm not gonna do it because this has a, a lot of mods on it and it's gonna cause uh, it's gonna take forever to load so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press play and it's minecraft's gonna open now if you head to your dot minecraft folder which if you don't know how to get to you can do it a couple ways you can go to your search bar uh, so this works on Windows 7 2 and pr uh, type percent app data percent and once you uh, do that, it'll open up this folder, which is your roaming folder. And then there's your .minecraft folder, as you can see right here. What I do is I, I pin it right here just for easy access. Um, <clears throat> it makes things a lot easier. So once you're here, open up your Minecraft folder. And the uh, Forge should be installed uh, in, in here. So what you're going to want to do is... To make things neater, you don't actually have to do this because uh, if you don't have multiple profiles that have different mods on it, like I do, I have uh, the Warp Drive mod pack, which has uh, different mods than the Dive One Two Three mod pack. Uh, then you don't have to do this necessarily, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it. It makes everything clean and it just makes it a lot neater. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here. And you're going to create a folder in here, let's just say called Rival Rebels. Uh, I'm actually going to redo this folder because uh, that's the old one. So uh, you're going to create a new folder in here, and we're just going to call it Rival Rebels for now. Just like this. Okay, now once you have that folder, this is where uh, Minecraft is going to install all this stuff. As you can see, the Dive 1 to 3 mod pack is all in here, and Warp Drive is all in here, just for easy access to. Uh, all the mods. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have make sure you have Forge selected down here. Yours is gonna say Profile Forge. Then you're gonna click New Profile, and at the top of here it's gonna say Profile Name, and it should say Copy of Forge. Uh, you can rename this to Rival Rebels. Um, and then right down here is the important part in your game directory. Uh, you're gonna change. Uh, it should just say this. Uh, you're gonna add another backslash if it doesn't already have one, and then you're gonna put in your uh, your folder name, Rival Rebels. This will tell Minecraft to install all of the files into this folder. And that just needs things up. Um, down here, you want to make sure it says uh, release the Forge version. Um, and then down here, JVM arguments. If you don't know what these are, then I wouldn't bother touching them. You shouldn't need them for um, just the Rival Rebels mod if you just have that. You shouldn't need to worry about this. But I will have this posted in the description. Uh, I have this uh, made Minecraft... Uh, Max it's RAM, this is for perm gen space, and then this is also for uh, more perm gen space. This is actually probably an important one, as is the RAM. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to click Save Profile, and then if you come down here, you're going to see you have a new profile. And uh, what, since this is running the Forge version, if we click Play and we set up the directories correctly, once we click Play, we should see Minecraft uh, and Forge start installing all of its files to the Rebel Rebels folder that we created. So we'll let Minecraft install its stuff. It shouldn't take too long. Here we go. It's starting to install everything. And as we we should be able to see on the uh, the other side, the, the Rival Rebels folder, we should start to see files pop in. And there they are. So those are the uh, Rival Rebels files, or not the Rival Rebels files, but those are the Minecraft uh, and Forge files. 
that we're going to be using. Okay, so Minecraft's going to open like a normal uh, 164 version. But you can see Forge is loaded, which is good. And we're going to close that out, and now we're going to install the mods. Mods are very easy to install thanks to uh, Forge and all of its goodness. There should be a, a folder that it created in your Rival Rebels folder called Mods. And in here, you're going to get the Rival Rebels mod, which uh, link is below, and you can pop it in there. If that's all you want to put in, you're done. And if we play... If we uh, launch it again, we should see Rival Rebels start unpacking some stuff, a folder, and we should also see a config file appear. Well, let's look in here. Uh, we should see a folder appear. We might have to get into a game. There it is. And this is Rival Rebels folder. And if we go back here, we can see that, that we have four mods loaded. And if we look, Rival Rebels. So that's just Rival Rebels. Now, I'm going to show you guys some other secondary mods you can install that would really help during combat. Um, first of all, let me say, <clears throat> excuse me. First of all, let me say there are no minimap mods, x-ray mods, or similar mods uh, allowed in the uh, Dive 1 3 Rival Rebel servers. If we do have, if we do catch you using one of those, you will be banned permanently, so don't risk it. Just don't use it. It ruins the fun for everybody because you can see, uh, you have a map and you can see players and see through blocks and stuff like that, um, and it's just not very fun. Secondary mods that you can install, though, are mods like NEI. NEI plugins, NEI add-ons. You don't really need uh, the plugins or add-ons. I usually just install them with NEI. Uh, you're going to need Code Chicken Core too. That's just a dependency for NEI. Like I said, all of this stuff is uh, in the description below. Shaders mod is fine, and Whale is also fine. These are uh, client-side mods that don't affect gameplay, like back tools or similar iTunes mods uh, you could also install. So now if we go to play... Uh, we can, we'll see that uh, some of the other mods are doing their thing. You saw that window right there. I think that was Code Chicken Core uh, doing some stuff and also created another folder for us. And if we also go back into the config folder, you can see all the mods creating their wonderful configs. You don't have to change any of these uh, to get on the server. The server will have default configs. Um, so don't worry about that. Also, most of the, the stuff you don't need to change. Uh, the shader pack, if you like shaders and want to install them, you can install them that way. And here we go. If we open up Minecraft, we can see that... Uh, no, not that. Oops. Okay, uh, if we, I'm just changing my settings around. If we look, we have 14 mods loaded now, and all the, uh, all the stuff is loaded, and I have the Rival Rebel server on, and I don't have, um, I don't have anything else because I deleted it all. I don't need to do that. And if we click join, we should see that the Rival, Rebel server is on. Right now it's not on, it's whitelisted currently. If you guys ever try to join and you see that it's whitelist, it most likely means that we're testing, um, testing something. So, say hi to YouTube. That's just Davesky. He's just uh, he's also he's an op, and so is Ben. So, um, so as you can see, we are on the server, and if I uh, I am op, so I can spawn in my stuff. We had to create a mode. As you can see, we do have the Rival Rebel stuff installed, and it does work perfectly fine. Yay! Nice and really loud. So, uh, yes, that is uh, how you install Rival Rebels, and um, the server stuff is also below. Uh, a rocket launcher, and then we put a smiley face. No, nope, that's not a smiley face. Put it. Okay, good. Oh God. Okay, Daisy. Oh Jesus. All right, calm down, Daisy. Oh gosh. And boom. Yay! Rival Rebels is amazing. So. That is pretty much it for uh, an install tutorial for Rival Rebels and um, just similar mods if you do, if, if you do, like, guys haven't already installed mods before. Um, but I hope to see you guys in the Rival Rebels server. It'll be launching today around 4.30, which is pretty soon. It's only about 30 minutes from now. Um, go down below. You can catch us on the uh, Rival Rebels or Dive123's Rival Rebels website along with the actual Rival Rebels website. You can go uh, uh, register on our website. And keep up to date on what we're saying and what we're talking about in events and cool stuff like that. But this was a nice install tutorial for Rival Rebels. Uh, Rival Rebels. It's kind of hard to say three times fast. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.